So, Coach, entering today's game, Xavier as a team carried a team ARA of 9.25, which you guys were able to play across four. Did something Xavier do change in what uh, you saw in the scouting report, or what was it they were able to do well that prevented you guys from scoring more runs? Well, I think they uh, we got to the starter in the first, just like they got to ours, but both pitchers settled in, and uh, that was their hot hand on the mound. Uh, you got to tip your hat to the second guy, uh, you know. You don't expect 10 innings in a midweek game and to only see two arms. Um, you know, for their guy to throw five and two thirds innings um, and give up a run or so, uh, yeah, that's that's frustrating. He's a good pitcher, good fastball, good breaking ball, but you got to expect more from from yourself, from your offense, and force them to maybe use some more arms in that game. Um, typically, early in the season, what is it that takes a lot longer to get up to speed, pitching or hitting? Usually it's the hitting. Um, you know, it's just getting outside more and getting the at-bats under your belt and getting the game situations and, you know, um, knowing how to have success with two outs and knowing how to have success with runners on base. And um, and hopefully the more you go through it and the more at-bats you get, the more comfortable you get. One player that um, has had a great season so far is um, Lucas Dunn. He has 11 runs so far this season. Um, what do you see from him from the rest of the season? Uh, what I've seen since Lucas got here. Uh, work hard every day in practice. Play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Just play fast, play hard. Um, he did a great job as a freshman, whether in the lineup, whether not in the lineup. Uh, we put him anywhere on the field, uh, infield, outfield. Um, he just does things the right way. So it's you know, there's no shock. Take nothing away from his talent. You know, he gets rewarded because uh, he goes about it the right way, and and so you know, guys can learn from that. Just just play fast, play hard, and do what you can to help the team win. As it currently stands, Logan White is just one walk away from the national leader with 13 walks. How much more of a ceiling can this guy have for the rest of the season? Yeah, the sky's the limit for Logan. You know, I'm sure there'll be some. Some stretches where he'll probably get a little more aggressive, um, where you know Walker two might not help us as much as him jumping on a pitch or two. And uh, but he's doing great. I mean, I'm really happy for him. And uh, we just got to get some other guys to try to get a little more offense, get some contributions coming up and down the lineup. And uh, you know, we got to score more runs. What was the plan to, uh, with him coming in bottom of the ninth, two outs? So were you going for the pinces, or were you just trying to get on base with him in that situation? With who? With Wyatt. Um, you know, that that's it's his at bat. You know, right now he's being selective. Um, he's taking the walks and um, so I'm sure he'll 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 go through a stretch where you know what, he'll he'll evaluate some at bats or some games and you know, I probably need to be a little more aggressive, need to jump on some balls, but um, like I say he's doing great. Fifteen strikeouts for your team. I believe that's a fifth straight game with ten or more strikeouts. Uh, what's along your entire pitching staff to uh, attack the strike zone with such confidence? We've got talented arms. Uh, we, we've pitched well enough, you know, to win today, and um, it's a talented group. I mean, obviously, what Coach Williams does with a talented group of arms is a good combination, and um, so I'm, I'm really pleased where we're at in the mound. And um, you know, we gave up two cheap runs there late which is frustrating. Take nothing away from Xavier, man. They played hard and uh, they made plays. You know, you got to, I think sometimes we forget that. We probably hit four or five balls hard there where first baseman made a great play, right fielder made a great play, uh, run-saving plays. And that, that's what kept us from scoring with two outs.